Hi everyone, I thought I would do a little review of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly um, and to show you the empty book. I have done a coloured um, version, I have completed the book but I was lucky enough to receive another one so I thought I would just uh, show you it. This is the UK version and on the cover it has this lovely um, metallic, oh there we go, metallic foil on it which is rather pretty and uh, we'll have a look inside. Now, there's no dust wrapper on this book but there is this French flap which has got um, the um, picture of some treasures and inside we have all these lovely um, different mainly flowers but we've got a lovely cup and saucer little bird and a teapot that sort of thing and here we have the um, title page and here we have some colouring tips from Johanna with some lovely vines and a nameplate. And here's Ivy and, uh, and the story begins. And we have a lovely cake and a book to colour on that one. What I like about this book is that there are lots of smaller bits to colour. Not this page, obviously there's lots of detailed treasures on this page which is great fun. What I find is best with a page like this, so much detail, pick one thing, ship in a bottle. Just concentrate on that, colour that and then pick something else, maybe this uh, this jug, um, and goblet I mean, and colour that. Don't think about the whole page at once or else you get yourself into a bit of a fluster. And even more so with this page, the Wonder Room, so much detail, such beautiful things to colour one at a time. Don't worry and panic and try and do it all and think about it all. And then we just have some pretty um, patterning around there and here's the butterfly. And uh, the butterfly is here in a picture knocking over some feathers and this is where they get inky. So that's fun. We have some nice books as well to colour. And on this one we just have this outside. What I like about this page, these sorts of pages, is you can just colour the details or you can you can do some colouring around the outside to frame it or you can do a little bit inside. Some people colour the whole thing. There's lots of options there for you. And there we've got the keyhole which is so pretty. And we start, uh, start with the gardeny type floral pictures which are lovely. Nice frame here, nice one to do and uh, a double page spread. I absolutely adore these dahlias. They're such fun to colour. I've recently done them in the calendar, the weekly planner I mean. And these are very pretty too. And then we have Ivy peeping out of the door. That's quite a complex one but again if you just break it down into little bits it makes it a lot easier to do and this one we have a repeating pattern the same flowers so you can make this easy by doing them all the same or you can make it colourful and do them all different and a pretty one with these um, sweet peas and uh, sorry I just knocked the tripod crack it and I'm not in the middle I'm so sorry and the little houses and we have a nice frame of forget-me-nots on this page and a really lovely page with lots of pretty circular florals. And I really like this page. The bee is great fun to do. And then we have all these pretty buttercups and things and of course all these dandelions. Now these would normally be white so it's a challenge to decide whether to do a sort of background and then do these in white gel pen or just leave them as they are and a very pretty letterbox as well. And this is a very pretty double page. The foxgloves on this side and I think these are oxeye daisies on this side and, and I absolutely love these toad, toadstools. Sorry, can't speak then. And some very pretty um, cherry blossoms on this page with these lovely candles and bottles details on. And here's Ivy having a think about something. Now this is more of a Zentangle styly picture I always think and I think it's great fun to do. We've got all these different sections, different patterns and flowers and things and this little house mouse is gorgeous. That little piece there is a, very, it's a pleasure to colour. And this one is fun. I think when I did this one before I did a sort of sunsetty colour inside and then uh, coloured the florals in quite dark colours to contrast. And we have a nice page here with lots of little bits so that it means you can do 
um, just one at a time. If you've got very little time, just grab one flower and do one at a time. Lovely. And then we've got a nice, uh, a nice frame on that one. Now this is a nice one of Ivy in her boat with House Mouse. And here again, we've got just some little ones to do. So that's nice. These are the sorts of ones that I sort of pick out to do videos for, I suspect. And we have lovely houses on the water. I like those. And another sort of different type of frame. Now this page is quite complex. I've just done some videos for some of these because they're in the weekly planner um, coming up quite soon. I've done one for the mirror. Um, what did I do? I did the medal and the crown so that hopefully get you going on that page but I could do some of the other things maybe um, when, when I uh, get round to doing some more on this book we've got the lovely tree house here with lots of leaves I think if you like Johanna you probably like leaves lots of leaves and we've got um, crowns and gems and butterfly on that one so there's quite a lot of different things to do there and on this one again we've got a lot of um, precious gemstones and things and here we've got all these brooches. I had really good fun colouring those. Um, it's uh, it's quite a challenge learning how to do all the gemstones and things. And I might do some videos for those as well because I think sometimes they can be a little bit daunting, but they're actually a lot of fun to do. And we have Pika and Pika's house. Now I have seen this coloured beautifully by quite a few people which for me makes it more daunting but again it's one of those pictures where you need to just decide on one little bit to do at a time and just do it slowly and enjoy every little part of it and here we have some treasures all hanging up and another page is got we've got the treasures up here but we've got leaves lovely blackberries I love colouring blackberries um, leaves. I think there's a story behind this little character. I seem to remember that Johanna's daughter drew um, on her page, so she kept it in. And we have the first dragon and castle. So we've got a lot of um, different things in this book to what we may have been used to colouring from Johanna. Um, again, we've got nice florals here and lovely toadstools. But sometimes when we get and and gorgeous I love these little elves they're so cute but things like food we have got those in um, Worlds of Wonder but we haven't really had much food before in pictures and this sort of stars and lines and things it's quite different to what we may have done but a lovely moon with florals in so that takes us back to our sort of floral theme and this is a lovely spread um, literally beautiful food spread and lovely leaves and things <clears throat> and then we have a nice um, floral border but we have dragons coming in again here see dragons are new um, not in there I think there's there's obviously one in Enchanted Forest but uh, quite new and we've got fire which is quite a challenged colour as well we've got another page with forget-me-nots I like this page a lot we've got these griffins we've got a lot going on different things to play around with and have fun with and again, this one, I enjoyed this because we've got those blackberries, which I just love to colour. And another griffin. And all the... Oops, we're missing a page. This one's really different. We've got the rainbow, and we've got beautiful clouds and a hot air balloon. It's quite different to the rest of the book. I think it's quite fun. And a lovely bee with all sorts of little details in. And loads of other bees here. And of course you can colour them all the same or you can do them all different. You could do multicoloured or you could just stick to sort of traditional bee colours. Now this page is attractive to me as well for videos because we've got lots of little bits and pieces going on. So I might pick some of those. I particularly love that door. I like colouring doors. And we have some... Again we have the tree house, a different tree house this time but we have uh, florals and a lovely cute owl and the uh, the lovely pots these are fun to do with the sort of background in here maybe and it's a bit less daunting than perhaps doing the whole thing we've got a lovely moth there and the chandelier that's quite a taxing page I did a black background I think last time and my Posca pen was running out it didn't come out particularly well so I'm really keen to have another go and hopefully make it better this time oh, I think 
Now we have our treasure chest and treasure trove. I'm doing this page at the minute for the um, planner, so uh, that's interesting. Um, all these diamonds and things, it's uh, something a little bit different to do. And the dragon. Now my son loves dragons, although he's grown up a bit since I did my first copy of this book, so he's not quite so keen as he was. But uh, it's still nice to do one and show him because he does appreciate them. And we have uh, a nice, uh, another sort of tree bordery type picture. And another, this is a sort of gem border, which is quite fun. And then we have poor house mouse and ivy in the, in the goblet, getting all wet. And the smoky butterfly page, which is quite fun. You have to decide whether you want to do the butterflies smoky colours or whether you want to do them bright colours surrounded in smoke. You can choose what you want. And we have the three dragons in this one, which is quite fun to do. And oh, I like this picture with the little door. I did this. The first time and try to make the little door look like an the little house I mean look like an enamel brooch, which was fun. But I think I'll do it in a different way next time. And I love this heart. the The way the flowers are drawn, I have never seen one that I don't think is beautifully coloured. I love looking at people's interpretations and some pictures. I'm always wowed and that one, whoever's done it, however they've done it, it's always beautiful. Now this is an interesting filigree to think about how to colour. And we have butterflies. And we have ivy here. Now this is an interesting one, I've seen her done in lots of different ways. And this one, another one where I think I'd like to do a few different tutorials. We've got the house, cupcake, we've got various different bits and bobs that we could do. And a lovely dragon and some leaves. And again on this page, I love the fact that here we've got a few darker images. I think it's quite fun. It's a bit different to what Johanna normally does and I've always found that quite fun. And we have the dragon saying goodbye to Ivy. And two butterflies. And we have a nice border and a, this one again, very, very pretty. And we have nice little bits and bobs. So again, you can just tackle one at a time there. And there we have our mushroom and a very pretty end page there. And that's the end, but we still have our colour palette test page. Mine's a bit rough on the edge, which is a bit strange. And we have the same inside the flap as on the front. I think that, I don't know if that's the same as on the front flap. No, that's different. So they're different on each flap and we've got the back cover. So that's Ivy. Now, um, it's a storybook, so it's a little bit different. And I know some people colour it for their grandchildren or their children but I just enjoy colouring it and I just think it's something a little bit different to do so there we are there's Ivy so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and the little flip through and happy colouring